Hey, today I want to talk to you about setting expectations. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jennifer Mitchell Early. I help individuals and teams achieve organizational and personal success. And this is Leadership Matters. Welcome back friends. So today I want to talk to you about something I think that's important and that is setting expectations. Setting expectations whether you're a parent, a leader, um, whether it is for yourself, with others, just as an individual is imperative. Setting expectations to me um, as a trainer is critical Whenever you come into my environment, I want to set expectations regarding what I should expect from you and what you can expect from me. And in life, that's the same uh, situation. That's the same case. Think about this for a minute. Think about a recent interaction that you've had either with your boss, a coworker, colleague, your spouse, significant other, children, um, friends, whomever. Think about that for a moment. Think about the interaction you had with them and how they responded to whatever was going on. For example, when your son or daughter said something to you, were you surprised? When your husband reacted a certain way, did it, you know, shock you? If your parents uh, said something or did something, if they showed up for you, was that you know, out of the ordinary? Was that abnormal? When you requested a day off or you needed some assistance and you went to your boss and you had a conversation with them, were you totally like taken off guard by their response? Were you like, what the what? Were you blown away? Probably not in all of those instances because in every situation, you've gotten to know these individuals and have interacted with them before and guess what? They've set expectations. Even when you don't realize that you're setting expectations, you're setting expectations. People come to um, know or expect certain reactions, behaviors from you, um, certain thoughts to come from you because you've set expectations along the way of what would be normal from you, what they should look for from you, what they should expect from you setting expectations with my daughter I am a strong in everything I'm a strong proponent of setting expectations I look at expectations as a, as norms or rules policies to me are expectations they're written expectations for appropriate behavior appropriate responses um, appropriate processes, appropriate ways of going about doing things. They are, to me, in effect, expectations. So whenever you do something consistently over and over again, when you respond in a certain manner consistently over and over again, when you do something and you behave in a certain manner over and over again, you're setting expectations. These are the behaviors, the thoughts, the actions, um, the characteristics um, that people expect from you. You're setting expectations. And it's so important that you go into this giving it some thought and some consideration. What, as opposed to just uh, responding a certain way without thinking about it, and then having to correct things after the fact, like, oh, no, no, no. I know that's what I always do, but that's not what I think about it, or that's not what I expect from you, or that's not what you should expect from me. It's far easier to go into those situations thoughtful, thinking that when I do this, someone is gonna expect this behavior from me all the time. Okay, I'm gonna use my daughter um, as an example here. So when my daughter first got her driver's license at 16, she drove right out the gate. Some of her friends, obviously, did not turn 16 at the same time that she did, nor did they get their license at the same time. So she had a friend because she was gracious and she picked this friend up from school every day and she dropped this friend off from school every day. And this friend no longer had to worry about how they would get to and from school because their friend had their license and had access to a car. 
this friend thought that because my daughter picked her up consistently, took her home consistently, that she would always be there to the degree that she believed because of the expectation that my daughter set that no matter what, even when, when my daughter's schedule changed, that she would still get to school and get back home from school without incident, regardless of whatever my daughter had going on. And that is because my daughter set that expectation unknowingly that she would always be there as a ride to and from school in to the degree that they actually had arguments about it. Arguments because the young lady felt like she had a right to that ride. She had a right to tell my daughter when she would come, when she would go, so forth and so on. And that's just one example. If you sit back and you give it some thought yourself, I'm sure that you too will think of some situation where you're like, you know what? I bet that's what it is. I bet I set an expectation with that individual that they thought that's what I'm supposed to do. Heck, we do it with our children. They expect that we will be there at their beck and call. They expect that when we go grocery shopping, we'll do it with them in mind. They expect that we'll meet every single need all the time, because you know what? For most of us, that's what we've done. We've set that expectation that, hey, mom has a cape on her back and she's always ready and willing and able to be at your beck and call. Those are things that we need to think about. As a leader, what type of expectations are you setting? If you are someone who is honest and forthright and shares information, doesn't work in a silo, who works with every team member, who equips every person, who uses everyone at their strengths, who um, is an encourager, that's what your team expects from you because those are the expectations that you've set. However, if you're someone who can't keep their word, someone who can't keep a secret, someone who um, you know, does not value their team in uh, behavior and in word and deed, that is what your team will come to expect. They will expect that you are not someone who is integral. You are not someone who is honest. You are not someone who values the team. You are not someone who is a team player because those are the expectations that you set. I always tell uh, my mom and other friends, I have a saying, and, and I'll go into this later at another time, but appreciation turns into expectation. And um, just in a snapshot, what that means is what you do for people. Initially, they're like, oh, that is so wonderful. Thank you so much, whatever it is, like my daughter's example with the ride. And then they expect it. It becomes a part of the expectation that you will do thus and so because that is what you have done. So I just wanted to leave you food for thought to think about what you say and what you do and think about what you do consistently to and around others to include yourself. I talked about in a Monday Musing, keeping promises to yourself, keeping your word to yourself, setting expectations with yourself. If you're someone who hems and haws is sometimes I can do with myself. If you're someone who is flaky, who's a flip flopper, who's not really um, consistent, who doesn't keep promises to yourself, even when you tell yourself something, when you wanna believe in something, when something is important to you, guess what? You've already set the expectation with yourself that you're not serious, that you can't depend on you, that this is just something that's fly by night and is here today, gone tomorrow, and you won't even take yourself seriously because of the expectations that you've set with yourself. Today, I just stopped by to uh, hopefully open your eyes because some of us do things without even realizing it, without even knowing its impact on ourselves and other people. People are always watching. You're always watching you. People are always listening and they're always comparing what they know of you, what they see for themselves, what they've heard for themselves, their own interactions with you. And based upon that, they have an expectation of how you're going to act. They have a norm. They have in their mind, uh, mind a framework about you, of what they think they know of you. And that is edified or that is um, the accuracy of such is tested by their daily interactions with you. And those 
come from the expectations that you've set. I hope this has given you some food for thought to think about how you respond to people, how you behave, what you say and what you do, and the expectations that whether knowingly or unknowingly that you've set with yourself and others. See you next time.